if parties are finding it difficult to agree how to resolve their disputes, we must remember it's okay to not agree. It's okay to do that. Um, what we have to do is try to work out what is the best course of action for each party. And that's not always going to be the same route for everybody. The difference between collaborative law and mediation, um, on the face of it, there's not a great deal of difference. With collaborative law, we use the same process, but you each have your own lawyer, you each have your own expert in the room, which often makes people feel more comfortable because they feel that they've got somebody on their side with them. I think the key difference between mediation and collaborative law, however, is that we sign up uh, to a participation agreement and that really gives the commitment to yourself, to the, to the other parties and to the legal experts that you are committed to using this process. And actually, it's quite nice to hear your spouse, your, your ex-partner, to understand what they want to achieve out of the process and then in turn they they understand what you want to achieve also there's several ways in trying to resolve matters collaborative law is just one of them if at our initial meeting you decide that collaborative law is the option that you would like to take the first port of call would be for us to contact the other party that could be a phone call to the solicitor if they already have solicitors engaged or to the person directly and we would explain to them that you would like to choose the collaborative law process we can send them some information about what that process is and see if they would be willing to try it collaborative law could be useful for everybody um, i would particularly recommend it where parties where there is a degree of um, amicableness where there is a degree of um, willing to try to cooperate with each other where there is a degree of compromise and actually where matters where people are still on talking terms and feel that they really can try to resolve matters between them. Um, having a collaborative law process model in place just helps parties to guide them through the process, um, but at the same time giving them their legal advice. Collaborative law could potentially be a lot less than going to court. On average, we would say that for three or four court hearings, you could cost it could cost you in the region of 25 to 30 thousand pounds plus VAT each plus you've got disbursements such as barrister fees, to have three or four collaborative meetings, which on average is, is the, the number that we would have within a process to complete, you would pay far less than that.